Hey everyone, Dolphin Oracle here tonight. Have you ever had the problem that you update your kernel, or maybe you get a security update through whatever your operating system of choice happens to be, and things like your NVIDIA drivers or your Broadcom drivers are gone? Well, I'm here to help you out with that, hopefully, at least if you're using Antics or MX. Uh, for whatever reason, certain kernel updates are... As far as I can tell, just the updates. If you actually change to a whole new kernel, this doesn't happen. Uh, certain modules don't get rebuilt for the new kernel. These are called uh, DKMS modules. And it's, uh, anyway, it's a way by which modules can be built and dynamically given to the kernel, uh, or separately inserted into the kernel. Uh, any rate, Every now and then, these packages don't rebuild. They're supposed to. When you get an update, it's supposed to automatically rebuild them. Or if you get a kernel update like I just got on my MX box not long ago, uh, my drivers kept working. Now, some folks reported on a kernel security update that uh, their drivers quit working. Uh, this was most notable with some Broadcom folks, I think, over on the Annex forums. And uh, with NVIDIA, no. I don't remember. It's either NVIDIA or ATI drivers on the MX boards. Uh, so I, I, I did a little research. I, I still haven't figured out why this happens, but I thought I'd give you a little uh, uh, example of a solution. This is what I used for my problems on Antics, where I lost my, dang it, where I lost my Broadcom drivers. I, I, I wrote a little script that forces dpackage reconfigure it's a command to redo a pack to reconfigure a package like you've just downloaded and started to install it. It reconfigures the package like it's a base install. By doing that on those packages after I lost my Broadcom driver, I didn't have to download it again. It was still on the computer. It just the, the module just wasn't built. So D package reconfigure and then my Broadcom driver uh, pa package name, which the name escapes me at the moment, it's something like Broadcom dash STA dash. DKMS, uh, ugh, really, and the driver's name is WL, just to be more confusing. So, at any rate, so this dpackage reconfigure command will uh, set it up to, it'll rebuild the driver for every kernel you have installed on the system. It'll remove it, then reinstall it. Now, the Antics update that happened the other day actually removed all my drivers, didn't rebuild them. All I had to do was run this dpackage reconfigure command, and they rebuilt just fine. I've tested this with any package, more or less. This is a really simple command, okay? And you can do this manually for each driver set that you need, as, um, as long as you know the package name that it comes from. And if you don't know, you can ask in the, in the MX forums. Now, where is this not going to work? This isn't going to work if you the, this package isn't going to work if you installed your driver uh, through a third-party installer like like um, SMXI for instance that download or if you downloaded the drivers manually and ran the uh, I think you can do this with the in NVIDIA drivers you can download them manually and then run some installer that comes with that file those drivers won't this command won't redo those drivers um, because they're outside the dpackage or apt system on Debian at any rate, so I have this script. I'll put the script in the notes. Most of the drivers in Debian that use the DKMS system have a package name that ends or contains somewhere within it dash DKMS. So this little command is going to look for every installed package. It's going to use. It's going to query the dpackage database. It's going to look for every installed package that ends in dash DKMS. Now it's not going to look for any package, just the installed ones. Okay. Anyway, it's going to look for any dash DKMS package. It's going to find the name. That's what this little bit of stuff does. And for every one of these things, it's going to run the dpackage command, uh, the re repackage, uh, the reconfigure uh, command. So I'm going to fire up my terminal. I'll show you how it works. Now, all my drivers right now are still working, but I'm going to show you how this works in the terminal. Um, the I actually made this a script called rebuild D DKMS. So dot slash to tell it to look in my home folder because that's where I'm at or my current folder I should say and then rebuild DKMS and it's gonna do its thing oh I forgot I gotta be sudo to run this command so dash there we go and my password and away it goes and what's gonna happen now it's found my Broadcom driver and now it's gonna delete that driver from my current kernel and now it's gonna debt mod it make a new, you know, a knit RAM disk, and now it's going to rebuild that driver and put it back in. It's just like if you installed the package from scratch 
through Synaptic or AppGet or something like that. Um, this will work for FGLX drivers and NVIDIA drivers if you've installed them with the tools in the MX tool set. So the NVIDIA driver installer or the ATI driver installer, uh, they use package names that end in dash DKMS. This will work for those. If you did it from a third-party utility or an outside utility, it's not going to work for those. they got to be Debian packages with a dash DKMS in them. Um, I'm sure there's other ways to rebuild those drivers, but I, I don't have any of those, so I haven't looked for it. Um, uh, probably just rerunning the install routines for those particular files will do the trick. Uh, yeah, so NDNS wrappers being rebuilt. What else is being rebuilt so far? Uh, that's it. Just the, just those two. I actually, I don't think I have too many drivers. Oh, VirtualBox. I have some VirtualBox drivers in here that are going to get rebuilt. Yeah, there goes VBox Video. So it's doing its thing. So it's going to do all those files in one step. Again, I'll put the script in the show notes if it helps some of you. Like I say, this is going to work for most of your, well, at least Debian-based systems anyway. Um and hopefully that does you guys some good on your next... Actually, you don't even have to reboot. If you do a mod probe or something like that, those drivers will be available to you uh, right out of the gate. Uh, quick reboot, and those drivers should all be available just like they were before the, before you did your kernel update and lost those drivers. Um, so that's it. For tips, tricks, how-tos, head over to mxlinux.org or throw up a post at forum.mxlinux.org. This all applies to Annex, too. Forms free, ha, annex.freeforms.org This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great night.